What's up guys, it's Friday, and you know what that means. It's time to bust some BS on What The Fitness. Let's get them. What the f What we got this week? This is an account called Ailey Yusuf PT, but I think it's another dude. I don't know, I'm, I think I've seen this circulate before, but let's pull it up. Protein shakes are really bad. Like, it can takes, you elaborate? It takes three years to digest one scoop of protein shake, by the way. It okay. stays in your body. Oh. What? <laughs> um, so I don't actually know how people can believe these sorts of things. Because if that was true, I would be 800 pounds, 600 pounds of which would be whey protein powder. There are people who have like four protein shakes a day. That's like 100 grams of protein. Let's, let's do math here real quick, Brian. So if somebody did 100 grams of protein a day for 365 days. So that would be 36 kilograms that that person would add in a year simply from undigested whey protein sitting in their intestines, I'm guessing. So if it takes three years, from the time you have your first protein to when it actually starts coming out, it's, it's three years. So you would have built up, if we times that by three, you would have had built up over 100 kilograms of whey protein. You might say, well, somebody only uses one scoop a day. Okay, so 25 grams times 365. Actually, you know what? Let's just be conservative. 25 grams times 250 days out of the year. They take off days. Maybe they'll have a protein shake on their off day. Who knows? Times three. At minimum, we're talking 40 pounds of whey protein before it starts coming out. Don't you think that if whey protein sat in your GI for three years, undigested, you might know that something was wrong? I feel like there are other instances where people have things stuck in their GIs and they don't move. And even if they don't move for like two weeks, there was a guy who took in an absurd amount of like Metamucil, I think it was, but he didn't like dissolve it. It just kind of went into a gel. And if you don't dissolve it in water, uh, fiber can actually constipate you. So he actually had like a, like, like this much gel stuck in his GI. That was after two weeks. You're talking about three years. I just don't know. If, I realize probably not a lot of people believe this, but some people believe it because some people also believe the, the earth is flat. Apparently, if you just get online and say crazy stuff, there's a certain percentage of idiots who will believe it. I just don't understand how somebody could believe it. You can't disprove this with a study. You're right. I can't disprove it with a study because no researcher would think anybody was stupid enough to actually believe something so insane. Uh, moral of the story is I can do math. He can't. Apparently, he never had multiplication as part of his education, or if he did, he forgot how to do it. Before you guys believe in saying things, just ask yourself, if this were true, what would it take to be true? Just ask that question. If this claim were true, what would it actually take to be true? And what would it take to falsify it? Well, if we know that there's people who use whey protein every day and they're not 800 pounds, then we can therefore falsify this claim. Just like when people say, you can't lose fat eating processed carbs. And yet we have so many examples of people who lose quite a bit of weight eating high GI carbohydrates. I'm not saying you should eat high GI carbohydrate. I'm just saying you can eat it and lose weight. So if you just think about what would take to falsify this claim, it actually becomes very easy to falsify stuff. And I don't, I don't need a study. I don't need a study. In fact, always remember the following quote, that which can be asserted without evidence can be dismissed without evidence. Thank you, Christopher Hitchens. I'm gonna go get two hours of therapy now after that five second video. And for that, we thank you. Click the links in the description, subscribe to the channel, like the video. I just did that backwards. Catch you next week.